In this video, we'll review payment settings in the Magic Member plugin. To get there, click on the Payment Settings and first click on Payment Modules. Here you'll see a list of modules and gateways that are available for your Magic Member site. In order to enable a particular payment module, just click the checkbox at the bottom of the module. And at the top, you can see that they're added. You can view each of the gateways by clicking on the tabs. And there you can enter form data and credentials and the necessary information to make a transaction with your gateway. So let's take a closer look at some of these. With Authorize.net, which is one of the more popular gateways, it requires an AP login ID. Authorize.net requires an API transaction key, which is very common amongst gateways with high encryption. You can add in API endpoints if you're not using Authorize.net as the gateway and want to use that particular form to interact with another gateway. So it is very customizable. It does add a whole suite of other gateways out there as well. You can set the default post purchase price. And here you can build the thank you page once a transaction is completed. So the transaction goes to the gateway, processes the credit card, and then comes back to your site. This is where you'll define how that works and what the user will see. You can also create a custom page if the transaction should fail. And here you can create a button or logo for the user to select the particular gateway they want to use. There's a test and live switch, which means that the credit card transaction will not go through while this is in test. Once it's in live, all transactions will go through the to the gateway. You can also create a custom thank you page by creating a page within WordPress and then pointing that URL here to that new page. And when done, you click update settings. So let's take a look at PayPal standard. Here you can put in the business email address. You can select which country currency that you're using. Select the country in which the PayPal services will be rendered. As we've seen before in Authorize.net, the default post purchase price. And again, we can create our own thank you page or success message and failure page. You can also change the logo. If you go to the PayPal website, they have various logos there as well. And here we see the test live switch. Also, PayPal offers the sandbox feature. If, for, if you go to the development section of PayPal, you can set up a fake user sender and a fake user receiver and process through their system uh, a real live transaction. Uh, no money gets exchanged that way. So it's a very handy uh, test case. Again, you can set a custom thank you URL pointing to a, a page that you create within WordPress. 
and here you're giving a very specific URL when you're setting up the PayPal side of the gateway uh, within PayPal you're going to need this particular URL for when subscribers want to unsubscribe with using PayPal that it will notify your system through this and then you'll hit update settings now one of the others that I put up here was Clickbank Clickbank is not your typical per se credit card gateway Clickbank offers thousands of products and what you can do is add your account into here and sell products within your site it's a little easier it's very easy to set up as you can see it's just username password default price a lot of the same things that we were doing on the other ones and turn it on turn it off again we have the IPN notification that you'll have to put in and thank you pages now one more thing to point out just make sure in content control under the custom user fields there may be particular fields that are required for your gateway so this is where you'll come to turn those on or build them custom so make sure that you look for that because you'll need to pass this information on in your gateway just for PayPal Pro I believe it requires the address information city state all that sort of thing that may not otherwise come in the user profile information and that's payment settings